dear educarians assalam alaikum welcome to online support program of the educator for term 2 i pray that allah almighty might save you all from this second wave of corona virus i advise you to recite duas daily which you used to recite in classroom don't forget to start your day with those duas in the name of allah the most merciful the most beneficent let's start it's our first lesson of term 2 so don't miss any lesson and focus on reading writing and spelling the topic we are going to start is little red riding hood and the wolf learning objectives by the end of this lesson the students will be able to read and comprehend the story little red riding hood learn some new words along with their meaning before starting our lesson you must have some stationary items keep your pencil and english language textbooks with you so students tell me how many of you know the story of little red riding hood have you heard it or read it yourself there was a girl called little red riding hood once she went to see her grandmother living across jungle but what happened next look at the pictures here are some pictures from the story little red riding hood with the help of these pictures let's recall the story in pictures we can see wolf grandma and little red riding hood look at the pictures in the first picture you can see a wolf coming inside the room in the second picture we can see it is wearing grandma's coat and hat then it was sitting on grandma's chair and little red riding hood enters the room wolfy is talking to little red riding hood then it was shoot down by little red riding hood in the last picture that shows little red riding hood is happy so today you will read her story as a poem so let's read my dear students Open your English language textbooks on page number 104 and 105. First of all you will write day day and today's task on page number 104 and on page number 105 you will write today's task. I hope all of you have written. So let's start the poem. Let's read the poem. As soon as the wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on grandma's door. When grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and the wolf said, "May I come in?" Poor grandmama was terrified. "He is going to eat me up," she cried. Now I am going to explain you the first stanza. There was a wolf who began to feel hungry. He wanted to have a good meal. Meal means khana. So he went to a little cottage or hut and knocked the door. Grandmama opened the door. She was shocked to see a horrible wolf in front of her. The wolf had sharp white teeth with horrid grin. भेड़िये के तेज सफेद दांत थे और खौफजदा कर देने वाली मुस्कुराहट थी. The poor grandma was terrified. Terrified means khauf zada hona because wolfy asked to come in. Grandmother cried and said, "He is going to eat me up. Help, help, please help." Now hold your pencils and underline the dictation words from stanza 1. Underline decent, horrid, grim. All of you underline these three dictation words. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But grandmama was small and tough and would feel pain. That's not enough. I have not yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. 
After seeing the wolf, the grandma cried that the wolf is going to eat me. And she was right. The wolf ate her up in just one bite. The wolf was not satisfied. He wailed. Chillana. Wailed means cried. He was still hungry. Wo abhi bhi bhooka tha. Because the grandma was small and tough. Tough means takutwar. The wolf said that he was not yet feeling that he had a decent and sufficient meal. Now move to the next page, page number 105. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I have got to have another helping. Then added with a frightful leap, I am therefore going to wait right there till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the woods. He quickly put on grandma's clothes. Of course, he had not eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes and after that he even brushed and curled his hair. Then sat himself in grandma's chair. Now what happened? He ran around the kitchen yelping. Yelping means chillana. I have to get another one to fulfill my hunger. He needed some more food to eat. Then all of a sudden the wolf having a horrible funny smile on his face. Thinking that I should wait here. Till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home after a walk. The wolf was clever. He quickly put on grandma's clothes because he had not eaten her clothes. He wears grandma's coat and hat. He put on shoes and after that the cunning fox brushed and even curled his hair. Then he sat himself in grandma's chair. He was going to be grandma. Now underline the word. Frightful. Have you underlined? I hope you have understood the three stanzas that we have read today. Now open your English language notebooks. Open your index page. You will write the index. Write today's date and your topic is Poem number 10, Dictation Words. We are going to write dictation words on copy. On the next page, you will write day, date, today's task, draw margin lines. On the next line, you will write the name of your unit. That is Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Then next line, you will write Topic, dictation words. We are going to write the dictation words on our copy. So, let's write down the first word that is decent. Next is frightful. Third one is horrid. And the last one is grim. Decent. Frightful, horrid, grim. From today's lesson, we have four dictation words that we have written on our copies. All of you write them on your copies with neat and clean handwriting. Your task is, you have to learn and write all the dictation words on your English language notebooks. Write all the work with neat and clean handwriting and learn them by heart. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. I will see you soon with the next one. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.